Oh, this is a wonderful day, ain't it? Here we go, Facebook Live. Facebook Live. This is called the Breatharian Thanksgiving Week. Woo! We got this whole week, huh? Right, so today I'm gonna do my dry fast again, once a week. Right. Taking my baby steps, and I wanna encourage everybody that this is an incredible example right here, a man who has not been drinking or eating and right. biked 700 miles and then walked 100 miles. <laughs> this week he did 50 miles. Right, that was no water. a couple of days ago. That was awesome, wasn't it? It was amazing. Oh, and, man. And so I'm a baby breatharian, and I just want to say I'm taking my time. At the same time, here's my progress. I went from eating meat 10 years ago to dropping the meat, smoking cigarettes from 15 to 30 to dropping cigarettes. Right. Uh, this year I got off coffee and eggs. I'm thinning it out. <laughs> and last week I got off herb. <laughs> right, right, right. Woo! And those are very powerful addictions. They are. Ain't they? Everybody got their own thing going on, but it's powerful on what the external things could do once we're trapped into them. And you're trying to yes. break away. Yes. Oh my gosh. Good for you. And I feel I feel a lot clearer. Yesterday was really rough. It was like Monday. It was I'd been like day four, and I kind of felt foggy brain. Right. And I felt some emotional uh, energy coming up for myself. Right. But I just kept doing the qigong, like mm -hmm. you and your son said. Oh, yeah. his son, you got to check out his son. His son's YouTube is off the chain. <laughs> uh, Walter. Um, however, I I really I just kept saying I'm going to do the qigong, and that's going to be my base. Two or three times a day, I do that qigong. Right. And then I went for a walk to the beach. Um, when I was uh, on my break for work, and that gave me back my chi. All of that energy out there. That's what yeah. you're taking advantage of. Right. It's here for everybody, but it's the awareness of you start utilizing it now so that it can clean your body out, open up your consciousness. This yeah. is what we're dealing with. We're living in consciousness. We just don't know what it is. And then this Thursday is going to be my first food free Thanksgiving where I'm really grateful to clean out my body because last week I found out two of my really close friends died right and it was preventable preventable was, disease is an unconscious suicide it's preventable because we plug our bodies up and and right we don't have to it's unnecessary it's unnecessary and that's all we talk about with the breath there and knowledge is nothing to argue about right now all we're saying is there's nothing better than the pure mind Right. It's a health message. It's a health message. It'll save your life. All we're doing is cleaning ourselves out and staying there. You got used to it and you stay in there. You're trying to break the addictions that's been holding us back. Right. That's what we're talking about. And to stay there is not far fetched. That's one thing on cleaning yourself out. But it's another thing. How long can a person stay pure? Pure is actually our constitution. Right, it's original state. It's, it's, it's the original state. Yeah. And even in the medical profession, they're talking about what? Uh, 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 a food free is the best diet. Starvation diet. Starvation diet. Nobel Prize. So they're kind of telling us it, you know, bits and pieces, but you got to keep in mind that the people who's giving us this information, they even stuck. Right. You understand? Right. So they only could give you what they know. So as we come onto this scene, we love staying here. As I woke up this morning, it popped into my head to tell the people, when you first start coming on to this journey, you're going in and out. But it's such a feeling state that you start liking to feel pure. You start liking to feel good. The energy running, you want to stay here more and more. So the curiosity will pop up. So just like how you started out on all the different things, you started breaking, you feel good, don't you? I feel really good. <laughs> and at the same time, like I'm being very compassionate with myself because right. all my stuff comes up, right? When you don't eat and when you start giving things up that you're comfortable with, yeah. you're on the cutting edge. And I want to be on the cutting edge and I'm giving myself compassion on the cutting edge to be gentle with myself as I do it. Baby right. steps. Baby steps. Baby steps. And we got to go there because that's how far we then, if you want to use that word, fail or humanity got away from the center. Right. This is what we're saying, but see, we done went to the furthest we done went. We done went to the bottom, so the only way is up. The only way is up. That's why this knowledge is not going to quit. It's like a jack-in-the-box, and it's going all across the board. It's hitting everybody. And if you can look up, you can get up. Yeah, you, that's right. <laughs> and, and you know what? And even my hardest skeptics, guess what? They're following me so tough that they're transforming and don't even realize it. <laughs> But that's what it's all about. It's like the Pied Piper. You're taking everybody with you. <laughs> do, 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 do. Right. Everybody transforming. 
<laughs> you can't argue with this uh, because it's no argument. We're all one. And that's what we're talking about. Everything is mental. Everything is mind. Everything is one. So as we make our changes, we're changing the whole world. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and, and you know, we just have to improve ourselves. So we can only just better our best. Like if, if I just look at where I'm at and I just move closer to my own center. Right. You know, I mean, I can look at Elitam Alamin as a master of our theory and he's my example. But if I just make small improvements every day, let's stand in the sun. Yeah. Every day, what's possible? Anything. Oh, anything's possible. And that's what we're talking about. Pure human potential. We got this awesome mind. Yeah, let's sit in our chairs here. Okay. We're doing our good walk this morning. Okay. And it feels good to get out, deal with these energies that we have access to. Guess what? It costs no money. There we are. Uh, we're in. Yeah, we're in here. We're in. So again, dealing with this avenue okay. that we chose to take this avenue that we chose to take of the food freedom and you're taking the baby steps one at a time where everybody has to go through you know even when i made my transition it was like what was the hardest part of your transition or how long did it take you everybody's coming from different levels of life right or what they're addicted to and this and that however when you're living a holistic lifestyle you're taking it serious it really don't take the body that long to get there right so oh, i forgot to say i gave up sex <laughs> yeah absolutely may i i, I became celibate in may right so it's it's definitely been a process and i guess what i'm enjoying it right i feel so good cultivating that sexual energy like you said pulling it up now somebody's asked me some baby questions again only time how long okay First of all, I'm well known on the international level and I'm tired of repeating myself over and over again. Now they say, well, just say yes or no, but you get tired of that. Go do your homework, catch up. But the main thing, it don't matter what I say out of my mouth, you're gonna have to do it yourself sooner or later. Take one day off and start working with yourself, okay? You'll get used to it. We're t you know what? And I'm not even gonna, uh, I wanna change my game. That's what I'm gonna do. Next time somebody asks me, I'm gonna say I don't even know. <laughs> well, here's here's what I want to say: is if if your if your life is your own experiment, yeah, then you become your own scientist. Absolutely. And as uh, you know, those of you who don't know me, I'm just a friend of Ellie Tom's, but I'm also a student, and I've been a personal trainer, and I have had more education uh, since like what the last year since I've been. I've been following LA Tom for a year. Right. So I've been watching him on this 20 year process of food freedom and getting things like little by little, giving things away, letting things go, stepping away from the table, backing up, doing fasting once a week, twice a week, 30 day fast, 40 day fast, for, you know, on, on liquid. Right. And then you go to the dry fast one day. And then I did two days. Now I'm going to do one day again. Right. And see, this isn't far-fetched. I know some people will get to that. Well, how long and this and that is the same so like, boom. But that's not what it's about. No. We're creatures of habits. Now, there was a person at one time said something about spiritual growth. We don't need no teachers and stuff like this. Well, that's crazy. And that's crazy. <laughs> you everything, have a teacher for everything. Everything. Driving school. That scuba don't even diving, make sense. Skydiving. And if the truth is in you, you already be doing it. You ain't got no truth in you. You have to learn it. You understand? You don't have nothing going on spiritually. Well, you it's have to, education. Here's the thing is, is the reason why athletes have coaches or football teams have coaches is because you do need an outside perspective, somebody who's already been through something to throw you the golden lasso down the well so you can climb out yourself. Right. Absolutely. That's what it's about. So as we're giving you this information, get the information and then we throw the retreats all the time. If you want to be with me, come be with me. Absolutely. <laughs> it ain't like nobody's holding nothing back and I'm out here. And I'm constantly doing retreats. I'm coming from retreat to retreat to retreat. It's not like I'm sitting there with a meal sitting there in front of the people. This is my life. I live with him. He doesn't, <laughs> eat. He doesn't eat, he doesn't drink, and I've seen him. This is serious now. And I weigh, what, 120 pounds, you know, fluctuating up in there? And That's muscle. where it stays. It's all muscle. It is all muscle. From 190 till now, this is maintained. You understand? Yeah, well, I went from 126 to I'm maintaining 111 and I did my body fat today and I'm 10% body fat and I'm a half a century old too. 
Right. And so I'm getting younger. I'm in better shape now when I was doing 50 mile bike rides and running marathons in my Absolutely. 20s. Absolutely. So this is a far fetched. Get into the cycle. Like we said, even when we do the retreats, we bring up so much medical stuff. It's amazing how that information's already there, ain't it? Incredible. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? The average person is looking at porn, sports, and music on the internet. And they're drinking alcohol and going to... to Go educate yourself. They're wasting their life. It don't matter if you listen to me or not. Go educate yeah. yourself. This is what we need to say. So we can stop playing games and bring something to the table. Now, I'm glad to be on this path because I got so many people bringing me some good information too because they're on this cycle. Right. It ain't like we're the only ones doing this. There's people all around the world doing this and they're really getting themselves together. They're glad I'm out here. I'm glad that they're out here, that we can focus on each other to keep each other motivated and going. It would suck if I was doing this all by myself, but I'm not. I'm gonna be one of your best students. Yeah. You guys keep track of me, okay? Because it helps uh, you to have a it. team. Yeah, and also too, to, to be next to a living example. Because right. Jesus said, there, you do greater things than this. Well, where are all those people at? Right, where are they? See, we're here right now, working right. this. So again, stay on to this knowledge, keep going, and stop asking the baby questions. Ask some real questions now. You know what I mean? Get over the hump. I got, what, hundreds of videos out there. And I know people over say- Over 500. Over 500. Yeah. We're not gonna stop. Get this information, keep picking it up. You know where I'm located, nobody's hiding. And please don't give me that, uh, what about tests and all of this? Go get them with the paycheck, just like you did everybody else. Yeah, we're gonna get paid for it. Oh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> if you want a good video on one of his that'll really, really put you uh, in check uh -huh. is uh, uh, Corruptibility to Incorruptibility. That's my favorite video. That oh yeah, do. absolutely. <laughs> we're hitting it straight for the hip. You know, we're tired of playing games. But, there's, but dealing with the human being, going back to our constitution, we have the uh, ability to purify ourselves and clean ourselves out. I got a video, uh, we're gonna do a teaching this weekend dealing with the seven gates in fasting. So you can understand what fasting is from, the etymology of it, where it comes from. It's one of the oldest therapies on the planet. Somebody figured it out a long time ago. Yeah, and also too, there's the Essene Gospels of Peace. There's four books and they're like four or five dollars. Read every single one of those. They're talking about fasting. Right, go educate yourself. So fasting, without get, getting all spiritual and spooky about it, is cleaning yourself out that will help your thinking because all of this is one. Get your house in order. Get your house in order. Of course you're seeing spooky stuff and having these weird spiritual experiences where you're toxic. Right. I travel all over the place yeah. and I just be looking at a person's body and they telling me all of these voices they heard and all of this and I know exactly where it's coming from. Because if you truly had an experience like that, I'm looking at your life right now. You'll be running hard for it. Right. You right. see how hard I'm running for this breath there and this? Because I'm having the experience. Why should I quit? Right. That shows I had the experience. If you sitting up there talking about you saw some aliens, I'll be running a whole nother. <laughs> I, I'm serious. What do I need to go to work for if I see some aliens in the ship? I'll be trying to get me one like a Telsa car. <laughs> don't let it be a woman. I'll be trying to talk to her. Three eyes, five breasts. I'd be like, here she go right here. I talked to her just now. This is the closest <laughs> alien I know. Athena Starcy. We did see we did see 13 ships though. We did. Yeah, we did see them. That's we, why we running hard like this. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, we did see some ships. We never be the dogs. same. Yeah. Never be the same. That's why we running like this. Yeah. But if you sitting up here living an ordinary life, talk about you see something so fantasy, I, I can't go for that. Right. Absolutely not. You'll be running hard. So anyway. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. We're gonna be here. We're gonna be here. So if you're in the area, every Thursday we do teach here and we teach these classes so people can get a thorough understanding. And like I said, I'm not hiding. You can come see me anywhere. Ain't no use asking me baby questions. You get up, you could go pay a, tic a ticket to go si go to Disneyland. Oh yeah, like a hundred bucks. You go to right. Universal Disneyland. Right. This is way better. <laughs> The entertainment you is free. You know why? Because you're your own ride. If you want to keep this body, you better keep it in shape so you can ride it for 150 years. We go full go. Now, she just invited me to come down to the beach. I might take that on, but I got other things to do because we're writing books right now. But anyway, I'll ride my bike down there later. I'm thinking about it. 
<laughs> right. You are a serial entrepreneur. You are constantly creating. Let me just tell you, the data that's flowing through this clear channel right now, he's writing books, he's doing music, he's biking 50 miles, he's not eating. All day, he was three, sleeping three, four hours this a night. This is what you do. This is what, what else should you do? If you ain't wasting all your time eating, what is, what is you should be doing? I Creating. know. You probably have another 15, 20 years in your life just by not sleeping. And oh, not my <laughs> gosh. This is awesome. And see, that's what we talk about. Not sleeping, not eating. What's the other one? Not going not to the bathroom? Not having sex. Not going to the bathroom? Not, well, let's bring this up. And not having fear. Oh. See, fear. 100%. Fear brings forth poverty. Yes. And fear brings forth uh, how should we say sickness? A person is sick because of fear. All disease. Because all you got to do is let go. But if you can't let go <sighs> of a habit, it's because you're fearful. Okay, I I surrender my fear. I totally slip on I I, I slip on fear, and it is it is when I'm eating. Right. It clogs up your brain. You it have clogs up your you brain. You have mucus in your mind. A fear is showing that you don't trust the universe. 100%, 100%. Mucus causes candida. The candida mm -hmm. has all those little creatures. They're actually driving all your cravings and your habit patterns. See, I'm a fearless man. Totally. What is to be afraid of? <laughs> 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 right. That's what we got to That's what we got to hear. What is fear? What is fear? It is a, it, it, the scripture says that God didn't give the man the spirit of fear. It's a spirit that was created that was given to us. You were born into it. So now you're afraid of everything. Afraid of yourself, afraid of other people, afraid of creation. And you're living in it. Right. And that's true. You know, so um, yesterday I went to work and I was reading at the Mystic Journey. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the main concerns is people are afraid of other people. He's going to hurt me. She's going to break up with me. They're right. going to take my money. They're going to. And I said, what well, you taught me, the universe is user friendly. It's user friendly. When you back away from the food, you actually trust the universe. You don't have to trust people. You have to understand it's always for your benefit, but you can't get there with a clogged up body, mind, consciousness. Absolutely not. So therefore, to answer that question again, I'm a fearful person. What? Fearless. That's right. what you work on. Getting rid of the fear and everything else will fall in place because that's not your true nature. And also too, let's talk about the light. You said I was having some problems, right? Some, some people try to attack you. You have the, what are they called? The trolls on the internet that try to bring you down. Right. And I was responding to that. And he said, let the light take care of it. You stay in alignment and the light will flush it out. And Absolutely. I waited it out and it took care of itself. It took care of itself. Be afraid of what? It's just something that's barking like a chihuahua. Right. That's all it is. And it's fearful. That's why it's attacking. And you know what? The people that are eating are the ones that are attacking. Exactly. Here we go again. Here we go Fearful. Again. Right. And all you got to do is stand there fearless because you're the ultimate warrior. How are you supposed to defeat something that's not afraid of you? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. Here we go again. So as we keep building on this journey, as you keep growing, <sighs> stay strong and go into your own self-realization. You understand? My life's already out here, so I ain't running nowhere. You know exactly where to come find me. Oh, oh, you know what else? And and we're going to start going over Paramahansa, the autobiography of a yogi, chapter 14. You're going to start oh, yeah. teaching out of that. Absolutely. We'll start that this weekend. Yeah, because we're talking about cosmic consciousness. And when you're in a breatharian state of consciousness, you have access to more data. Absolutely. So if you got an uh, autobiography of a yogi, start reading chapter 14 if you haven't already read it. And we're going to go over that this weekend on uh, Facebook Live. And we have access to that. And we'll have access to it. We'll have us a group talking, dealing with this. It is dealing with the experience of consciousness because that's what true spirituality is. It's the experience of consciousness. See, the breath theory and journey, that's just the word we're using, but I'm actually, what? Experiencing consciousness. Right. And, that's and, what we're doing. And your son, Walter, says that's like baby magic. But the breath theory, it's a, it's a lower level. Right. The, the state of cosmic energy that you're pulling through. Right. Where is it going? Where is it going? It's beyond, beyond, beyond. And we're so connected to all of this, you get to know on everything. That's why I be telling people I'm a genius. You I'm just not genius. making this up. I'm a genius. You are a genius. Because <laughs> that's what we're transforming to from a homo sapien that they call us in uh, science to a homo genius. You start opening up, expanding your consciousness because all is mine, all is one, and you're becoming one with it. 
And you can have a real good time expanding this consciousness. This right. is what's happening. And, and here are some of the benefits is I'm, I'm painting more. I'm exercising three or four times a day. I'm exercising more. I'm right. happier. That's a big one. I'm happier. Most of the time, people, like I have a book, the Dalai Lama wrote that said, you know, uh, finding happiness. Right. And I was always like, why is that so elusive? What does that actually even mean? And when I was all clogged up, I'm like nothing that I was doing, nothing outside myself was satisfying me to be happy. Right. But a clean inside state, I'm actually feeling a vibration. Absolutely. And check this out. And I feel good that you're on this path because I got somebody to talk to now that's talking some sense. <laughs> right. This is what we talk all day. I mean, this is good conversation instead of talking about other foolishness, fear-based frequency, this and that, us against them. That's foolish to talk. Right. And, and for me, I don't even want to entertain those conversations anymore. I right. don't even want to hang out with those people that are having those conversations. We're talking about delete, some real stuff. Delete. Right. Delete. Right. Defrag your hard drive. <laughs> Upload new software. Get out of that fear-based consciousness. That is just a low vibe. That's a low vibration. So as we expand in our consciousness, we got many more good stuff to come up. You ain't seen nothing yet. So when we look at teleportation, levitation, that don't even sound like nothing no more. No. That sounds like something that could be accomplished that we know it can because we're just that powerful. We are, we are. We should do some Qigong, we're in the sun. You wanna uh, set it up? Oh, you know we're gonna do it. This is what we do. <laughs> you guys wanna do Qigong with us? <laughs> the sun's out. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this day. And again, we're doing this all day long. This is the kind of life you should be living. And like I said too, a lot of people, when they attack out of fear, it ain't so much as that too. You're trying to compare your life with mine. See, first of all, I live in a temple. Yeah. Yes, okay. and this is a temple, and that's a temple. I got candles around me all the time, incense, good singing. This is the kind of life I live. I got time on my hands. A man who mastered his time got time on his hands. So I got time to work on myself. That's the most important work that you could be doing. This, know, is, this is my job. Yeah, like Michelangelo's painting a Sistine Chapel. This is the Sistine Chapel. So I understand if you got a busy lifestyle going and your energies is being pulled from everywhere, and when you hear, first hear somebody who is food free, that kind of shock you because your energy is scattered. But when you're dealing with a person who brought back their energy, the life I'm living, I got time on my hands to work on myself. And to get organized. And to get organized. Right, you're writing books, you're writing music, you're doing retreats. You're doing things you really want to do. You're into yourself. I'm into my own mind. Yeah. I'm the creative force, the center of the universe. So, of course, you do got to work on yourself and work on your schedule where you add a life and start investing more into your own being. Right. And you know what's so funny is like you think that people would run to themselves, but they don't. They run to other people. They run to distractions, movie theaters, uh, alcohol, sports. Moving outside of themselves. And when you do that, you get weaker. Yes. You get, that's when more fear comes in. Right. When you come back home, back into yourself, that's when you get more strength. Right. And see, power is in little packages. Now, why would I say that? Because <laughs> I'm a little package. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Think about this. Let's take your head, for instance. Your head on your body is a lot smaller than your torso or your legs. <laughs> but the head is where most of the power is at. You understand? So it's the little expression is where the power is at. People go for the big expression because we're creatures that expresses ourselves. That's why people jump for the big package or things that's external. But that's right. where the less power is at. The most power is within going into the little package. Right, right. That's where the expression is at. But we'll teach more about that in the future. So again, as we continue on this journey, Start breaking things all slowly and come back into yourself, into the lower little package, and that's where you'll find the greatest power. And see, that's where you start creating things. It's within again, because we are electromagnetic beings. You are magnetizing stuff to you that you really want. I've seen this guy magnetize so many things to him. It is unbelievable. All the time. All the time. And see, oh man, this gets good, don't it? It really does. Money is not earned. Money is given. Did I say that? Yes! Break that down. 
<laughs> True that. And I just brought True up that. money because that's where everybody's stuck on again. But things are not earned again, so we got to get out of that. It is given to you by the universe. Right. To help you with your self-expression. Currency and flow. Currency and flow. That's what we're dealing with again. So to live a better life again is to get on this path and get back into the what? Internal expression, which seems small, but that's where the power is at. Well, let's like line it up. So on December the 7th, we're doing our um, our priest solstice winter retreat. So the 7th, December 7th through the 14th, if you guys are in LA, come and stay for a week. Invest in yourself. Come on, right. move in, watch how he's living. See how we can do it. Everybody has access to this because now he's here in the city of angels. Fly out if you got to. Why? I mean, the investment to save your life is amazing. Oh, absolutely. And see, look at this, the priest solstice uh winter solstice is coming up right now this is good this is dealing with what the furthest part up north where the axis of the planet is furthest from the sun and they call us the birth of the sun wow or the rebirth of the sun yeah this is great esoteric knowledge here because they also say that there's an energy that takes place at that time that deals with regeneration of immortality look it up now yeah. In the esoteric circles, it deals with the regeneration of immortality, and that's where the days start getting longer and the nights start getting shorter. Right. It's the energy we're dealing with, a cycle that we're into. Oh, man, this is good, ain't it? Right. Well, we have to go dormant and, and reboot, and that's what this fasting is, is you're cleaning out your body. So you're you rebooting reboot. because not only are we in daily cycles, monthly cycles, we're also in yearly cycles. So in this time of the new sun, or the rebirth of it, it also deals with the time period called Yule. You ever heard of that? Yeah, yeah, Yule Tide. The Yule Tide. And that's dealing with, again, with regeneration and stuff like this coming into this season. So this is a time of self uh what you call it? Preservation. Self-preservation? Preservation, also reflection of yourself. Right. To where you can look at oh, how your whole year went energetically so you can look at your life on how you've been running this year so you can start a new lease on coming back into the energy of rebirth right like a bear hibernating because we're into the sun cycles again so as we go in fr from that uh uh disposition of time into another one this is a time to reflect into your new self so you can come into the other part of the year a whole new creature a whole new creature because we're constantly rebooting ourselves. Our cells are dying on a daily basis and they're being reborn. And we have to die to our own egos. We have to let go of our crutches, you said, right? Absolutely. And listen at that word ego. Ego isn't bad, it just need to be redirected. The ego that we were born with is doing external expression, taking us away from ourselves. Right. So all we gotta do is give it to a incentive to come back home come back into the source, come back to within so we can regenerate ourselves and go back into the uh, cycle of the inner sun that's in us. See, the inner sun is automatically going into the cycles of the outer sun. They're one and the same. Right. It's just that our, uh, our last knowledge is what? Going against the grain. And we're just re what? rebooting it to come back home so it could go back into its true natural state, which is self-sustaining. Right. See, this deals with the breath theory message. We're just not talking. You're going to what? Come back home to gain the strength that's in you that will sustain you because you're a self-sustaining being. See, the external exists because of what's going on inside of us. Everything is a, is a projection from the internal. It's a, it's a projection. And you taught on that feng shui, your internal consciousness right. this week. That this was, is what we're dealing with. That was good. Feng Shui, you're inside. You're inside. We're all inside. This is why we live in the heaven. Look at this. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. We're happy. Yeah, we we're jamming happy. too, ain't we? Yeah. But, well, this is what we do. <laughs> so, so you guys who haven't seen The Peaceful Warrior, that that is like an ego reboot to really look at the power that we have dormant that we're not expressing because we're out outwardly driven and we're you know we're letting our ego run the show instead of letting our souls light our inner sun run the show so check out that movie peaceful warrior now this must be a new person somebody says but how many days can a person survive without food all right here we go forever now check this out 
in the Guinness Book of World Records, they got 18 days. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous, ain't it? Yeah, well, I live with the yogi, and there was a woman 65 years in a tiger forest in South well, India. Keep in no mind, food, no water. Well, keep in mind that you got to um, pay to get in the Guinness Book of World Records. It costs so something. Listen, that's propaganda. Yeah, that's propaganda, but, but you still got to pay for it for they won't get people who's just making up stuff because you do got to get a lot of people to move here to take, yeah, yeah yeah you know what i mean yeah. so if you're going to do something pay for it but find out do do an experiment on yourself right it did if you look at google for the medical profession they got different things set up and they got one guys they got him 18 days because they made a mistake and uh he was trapped inside of a jail for 18 days right so you know Here's the thing, those who have the ears to hear and the eyes to see will find the information and they'll and You're not going to find the information like that because even in India, you got the Jains who do 30 days every year. I went to Israel, there's a guy who do 33 days every year to deal with his cancer. So, I mean, you go find out yourself. What am I supposed to do? All I could do is talk about myself. You understand? And to sit up here and do an interview over and over again, pay me some money. <laughs> You want to interview, pay me some money, and I'll sit down with an interview with you. This is how I'm going to start talking to people. Right. Yeah. Go, go somewhere and play. Well, here's the thing. They're, scientifically, they put a cell in a Petri dish, and it outlived the scientists. Forty straight years, it was immortal. It kept going. Right. Now, the guy died before the cell died. Now, let us really get into it. We're talking about physical immortality now. Right. During the retreat, I did a class getting true life articles about the elite around the planet, the, the highest minds on the planet, the greatest laboratories on the planet, right. and everybody's looking at physical immortality. Right. So as we're sitting here, we're not sitting here crazy. Don't ask me questions like that. Everybody's serious about this who got any type of serious mind. This isn't Mr. Nobody. When you're ignorant, yeah, when you're ignorant, of course you're asking those baby questions. Everybody's on this right now. Who got a mind who's a genius. And didn't I tell you I'm a genius? That's why we're seeking physical immortality. This ain't no laughing matter. Right. There's big investments being put into it, the billionaires around the planet, and even enthusiasts like myself. You got that article we had, had some of the best laboratories on the planet. This is what everybody's seeking. Right. Right, because once you have a, a billion dollars. you got dollars, any old type of mind. Once you have a billion dollars, you're like, I want to keep it, I want to stay here. And then you like, you have to check your health out. Right. You got to check it out. If we, didn't want, we don't even have a billion dollars, but I'm one of the wealthiest per people on the planet right now because I'm living a life that's really, like, really out here, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, because, because here's the thing. If we create our own reality, which we do. Which we and, do. And you're living heaven on earth. I'm living heaven on earth. So we're wealthy. We're one a, of the, the wealthiest people around. And I know a lot of people that got money, and we're living way better than they are. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Because it's a frequency, too. Right. And my body's not hurting. Ta-da. So... <laughs> I, so therefore, that's wealth right there. So right now, this knowledge, this information, like we're saying now, get your information and get on this and really be a person who's seeking this knowledge. You understand? Now, what else? That's my concern. It is only consuming water and breath taking enough to survive. can't even answer that. Well, anymore. because you don't even drink water. Right. <laughs> well, Go look at a, my YouTube a channel, a LA Town, LA Me. There's a video that, that you actually have the best intracellular water and that you recycle your own water, like the movie Dune. And we even seen that video, like from the medical profession again. See, the medical profession, they're going against what we're saying. Dry we, fasting. Right. And we're in an age now where there's so many answers being answered. But right now we're living this. This is the thing about it. We're expanding our consciousness. And when you deal with uh, water, your body produces the best water for you. Right. We just see that uh, uh, whole medical thing dealing with it. Yeah. Your, your body produces the best water. It's better than fruit. Don't tell me about no fruit and the water it has. That's the fruit's water. Right, right. Your body produces the best water it has. And I'm sitting here living in this body so I can vouch for it. I just sent that video you sent me about the water to mm -hmm. a nurse who was a mom that we couldn't wrap her hand around not having water. She says, what about the kidneys? And I said, I'm gonna send you the video, okay? Right. Because you're a nurse and I'm a personal trainer, but I am living with somebody who doesn't drink water and he oh must my gosh. than all it, of us. And it's boring. Totally boring. It don't have no taste to it, no calories. 
Now let's go back to water. Water is one of your best salubles on a planet, dealing in a liquid kingdom. Right. Okay, let's go there. And if you drink water for like three months, you're considered living on planet. Okay. Light follows water. Yeah. Okay, let's make sense out of it now. So even people downgrade water nowadays. They do, and I'm not trying to downgrade it. If that's where you're at, you need to drink water due to mucus all in your system. Right. If you eat food, you need to drink water. Right. Let's nip it in the bud right now. You need to drink water. Once you get past those states where you get mucus out of your system, then you won't have that thirsty feeling no more. You should be able to go to other levels. You cannot wrap your head around this when you're not in the practice. If you're not a practice person, stop asking me questions. Right. Get in the practice so you could get more down to earth because when you're in the practice, you ask less questions. Right. And also, too, just for those of you who are listening to this, don't just jump in. This is all based on meditation and Qigong. You don't just start fasting and stop drinking right. water. You have to have a very strong meditation Qigong practice before you even attempt right. any of this. Because meditation is your channel and energy through your body you're because you're, the base of your body is energetic. I'm going to do Qigong right now. This is an energetic. So you're opening up those channels with a better flow, you understand. And that detoxifies you and all this other good stuff to give you what you need. Right, you're switching energy uh, right. sources from food Other than that, you're tea. just asked a question, you're wasting my time and everybody else's. Become a practitioner and be a good practitioner. Be a good student. Right, be a good student. And you know what, that's what I'm saying. To be a, be good, a leader, good student. To be a good leader, we have to be a good student. We have to start right. with the basics. So take a retreat, get some education before you jump in, learn something. Right, so of course you're not gonna wrap your head and you're looking for a person to give you the right answer. It ain't about that no more. Become a good student, a good practitioner. Yeah, become a good student. And you know what that takes is humility. Even before I started my breath there and journey to leave food alone, I was living a full holistic lifestyle that I was happy with. Right. I seen the changes I made on myself already to where I didn't even have to go track nobody down that was a breath there. Let me go see you. I didn't have to. Right. I seen the changes already made on myself, but I knew because the truth is in you that you could pull this off. Right. Right. And well, I, and what I, is there art to argue with? That was me dealing with myself. Whoa. Be a good student. Other than that, you're just talking to the wind and a person is wants you to say the right word that's supposed to activate them and it don't work like that. You got to activate yourself at the end of the day. The truth still set you free and the truth is inside. And even for myself, like I knew I was having dreams tell me that this is time to switch over. That was in 2009. Right. And I've been taking little baby steps since 2009 and now I materialized you. Now you materialize it. Look at this. When Creating. the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Absolutely. And we're having a good time once again. And I might come to the beach with you. Yeah! You know what? You're feeling it, right? <laughs> yeah! Yeah, you're feeling it. All you that high wind. energy. Yeah, there's lots of negative ions there. Oh, uh, man, look at this. We're living in heaven. Yeah. We in paradise. Let's show them the temple. Let's walk in there. Show them the lights and the candles. You want to? Oh. No, you want to sit out here. Never mind. Uh, you have to. Come, if you want to come and see, you can come and see us on Thanksgiving. You can see the temple on Thanksgiving. Yeah, this or is what December, we do. The this is how we're living every day. So we got time on our hands to work on ourselves because this is what we created for ourselves. We're the only thing to count. Right. The only thing that exists is the what? Creature and the creator. Everything else don't exist. That's so powerful. That is, ain't it? The egg, Andy Weir, the viral short. And that's Check the only out. thing that is this. Check out so the therefore, egg. that's what my investment go to. My investment goes into the creature and the creator because they're the only two that exist. Everything else don't exist. You gotta trip someone's mind up right now. <laughs> <laughs> you are in the construct of your own mind. <laughs> Whoa. This is just a simulation. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. But this is the reality of it. And this is where the happiness at, everything's going on. So now we just gotta think about as we contemplate today, what are we gonna do now? Oh yeah, I'm writing me a book now. My new book will be coming out soon. It's dealing with the breath there in process. For the person who has been asking those questions on here, you know, order the book, you'll be getting a lot more. Um, where are you guys right now, by the way? City of Angels. Yeah, we're in Los Angeles. And we're having a real good time. But every Thursday up this way, 
uh, where we at now, Sherman Oaks. Yes. We do have uh, teaching classes every Thursday. We have we even put it on the Facebook. We'll uh, the Thursday class we'll put on Facebook. So right. But, Athena Starcy, Tina Castaldi, or Elio Tom Alamine will invite you guys out. But this week we're talking about fasting, the etymology of it, and going into the seven gates. The seven gates deals with the seven energy channels in the body and why fasting goes hand in hand with that. And it's on Thanksgiving. It is on Thanksgiving Day. Right. right? Absolutely. That's what we're giving that class. I'm going to check out if we can feed some turkeys on Thanksgiving. I'm still going to look that up. Yeah. Instead of eating a turkey, we're going to feed a turkey. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so, but it goes hand in hand. Without opening up those gates, fasting is the mechanism or tool that's used to open up those energy channels, not eating at all. Not eating Period. at all. Period. Other excited. than that, you ain't even in the ball game. I'm excited. I'm doing a dry fast today. Those of you who just tuned in, I'm excited again. And once a week, the dry fast is going to be my reboot. It's like three days of water fasting. Right. Cleans you out. Absolutely. And we're going to talk about water fasting because now when you get into the breath, air, and knowledge, it upsets me when people are downplaying water now. We're not saying downplay water. Right. You need to drink water. I don't. Right. <laughs> But don't downplay it because it's very powerful. Right. Water is very powerful. So we got to make this clear depending on what level of knowledge you're at and learn how to use it before you can understand the next principle. Right. Until you don't understand the principle, leave it alone. Don't even ask questions about that. There's a, you ain't even on the first there, principle. There, there's, a, there's a spiral staircase here, and everybody's got to get in at their own oscillation. Absolutely. Yeah. So go and don't try to do more than one day if you can't master one day. For sure. Now, what do master one day mean? That means that you can have a, a simple day, you know, during your daily schedule, not eating, not drinking, and it don't affect you. You could go through the schedule without even being irritable. Right. That means you have mastered that day. Right. Other than that, ain't no use of you going forward. Because you're just I, cranky. I fasted for seven days before, then you pollute yourself back up and then pretty soon you bust out again all you're doing is coming in and out stay consistent that's why they give you the story the tortoise and the hare it ain't about trying to rush it to see how fast you could go the tortoise stayed consistent in the race and right. he won the race yes yes you ever see that bugs bunny one where you'd be like do 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 right <laughs> That's true. That's true. And a lot of a lot of people too in um, around the planet right now, they're doing a lot of plant medicine, and they clean their body out. They do this incredible plant medicine. They get all this information, and they go right back to smoking cigarettes, drinking beer, having alcohol, and and pollute their body up. Then right. they go do it again. So they're on this weird cycle where they they feel like they're cheating something. Absolutely. And all that does is okay, the plant medicine. It is good for having, giving you a, the experience that other things exist besides your physical body. Right. But once you've had that, you don't need to do it 100 times, 50 times, all this stuff and act like you're spiritual. Well, what do you have to show All you're for doing it? is keep coming back into the physical body. You understand. Right. And then you're going to have to deal with it eventually or you're going to keep walking around aching and pain and all this other stuff. Talking about when you're going to have your next high. So you got another addiction again. Right. You understand? Right. Had that experience, set it down, but go into your true nature, which is self-mastery. Mastering this physical vehicle. See, when you ask these questions like this, this you're saying you can't master yourself. What do you mean you can't master yourself? Right. You should be able to tell the vehicle to go sit down somewhere. Right. I drive you around. You don't drive me around. Right, your addictions pull you around. You can't control yourself. You mean to tell me you can't back up from a table to, for one day without falling around all over the place dying? That don't even make sense. Right. The vehicle should be put so much in check, and then you should be able to what? Odd minute where it gets another fuel source. The physical body runs off of energy. Why can't you see that? Right, even our cars energy are just don't. Right, energy just don't come in the form of physical food. That's the stupidest thing I heard in my life, did you think that? Right, because energy comes in exercise. You exercise, you get more energy. Qigong, right. Tai Chi. It comes in subtle forces. Subtle forces. There's many ways to grab energy. Wake up. Right. I like what Walter said, your son. He says, everything is Kung Fu. 
Right. Master yourself. Everything is energy. Everything is energy. Everything Master is yourself. Energy. Master yourself. This conversation we have in is energy. Right. There's conversations you have that could pull you down, make make you uh, pull energy from you, make you sick, and there's conversations that could pick you up and make you feel happy. Right. So criticizing, condemning, complaining, energy drain. Encouragement, knowledge, enlightenment, energy boost. That's what we're dealing with. Just how we talking now, I'm getting pumped up. <laughs> Like a rocket fuel. Like a rocket fuel. This is what's feeding us. Our chairs are going to blast off. Oh, man. This is what we talk all day. This is all <laughs> I know how to talk. Oh, man. Oh, it's so oh. great. It's so great. It's this so is great. awesome, man. Yeah, it's good. But this is what we're talking about. Look how the sun hitting us. This this is giving you more than just vitamin D. Somebody just told you that. Right. This is the greatest expanded source outside of your body. You're getting this. Right. Our bodies are soaking it up like pores. What was that scripture you said? Oh, oh yeah. The, 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 your pores open like little tiny mouths and they drink in the pranic sunlight and the energy. Yeah. And Egypt. Remember Egypt, the pharaohs. They've been telling us that for thousands of the, years. The physical body is fed from the light body. The light Somebody body. Somebody just didn't make that up. The ka body. That's been going on for thousands of years and I'm living it now. What's, what, what do you not understand? And then I hate to bring it up, but I'm highly melanated. Do you know this is a harvester of energy? I'll be, you know what? I'll be ignorant as hell <laughs> to have this much melanin on me and I'm not able to be sustained by the sun. Right. That shows I'm a low conscious of this right there. Right. Check out melanin. The Look at my eyes melanin. full of melanin, skin, organs. I'll be stupid if I can't even feed off of the sun. Exactly. That don't even make sense. It doesn't make sense. I'll be a low bean right there. <laughs> and you, so, you telling me I, I can't use this chemical. Right. That don't even make sense. Right, right. People don't know what it is. This is a high thick. They making batteries out of this. That's crazy. This is worth $400 a gram. Yeah. I'm worth more than gold. Right. I'm expensive. <laughs> Look at this. Look at me. I'm expensive. Wait a minute now. <laughs> well, wasn't I the wealthiest man on the planet? Do you see what I'm covered in? I'm supposed to. Yeah, I'm a god in my realm. Oh, well, what am I supposed to be? Look how much I'm worth. <laughs> Priceless. 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 We're all priceless. We all have melanin. Some people more than others, but we have melanin. Why oh, not? my Just gosh. Discover yourself. Find out it's how to use it. It's all in my pineal gland. Right. All in my pituitary, it's all coming from my heart. <laughs> this pulls energy. You mean to tell me I need to go eat a sandwich and an apple? <laughs> Look at me. Wait a minute now. <laughs> Let me go compare myself with this tree. All right, this is the chlorophyll. My melanin does more than what this chlorophyll do. You mean to tell me I can't feed off the of energy? You, that done blew my mind. How dare you put me down? <laughs> I don't even put myself down. Of course I'm a god. Right. Why shouldn't I be? I'm self-sustaining. This is where we sit. Right. Right on my throne. Look at my throne. And I got star seed next to me. <laughs> they, the Bible said ye are gods. Jesus said that you'll do greater things than you. You are God. Be ye, ye perfect. God. I'm perfect. I'm perfect. Right. What's wrong with me? Oh, my gosh. So study your own perfection. Study your own perfection. Oh, my gosh. And I'll be retarded if I can't <laughs> feed off of energy. Wait a minute. I'm going to start fighting hard now. All right. How dare people put me down? <laughs> I'm a high melanated being <laughs> running around, genius. I'll be stupid if I can't feed off of energy. Right. Retarded. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta laugh. You I'll gotta be laugh. retarded if I can't laugh. heal myself. Right. right. I'm right. smarter than that. Heal thyself. You mean to tell me I can't get an ache and pain out of my leg? Right. There you go, mucus. Oh mucus. my God! Mucus causes disease. Mucus causes swelling. All of the itises come from food, eating. Oh my gosh! This is heavy, ain't it? Yeah. I'm gonna be meditating on this all day. <laughs> Actually, I still kind of feel retarded. This much melanin, I to be levitating. 
Yes. All right, we're meditating on that now. I got to take off. Yes. I got to be the full God I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, man, sitting in the sun. We rolling, ain't we? We rolling. Out here rolling. nourishing we're myself. Rolling. You know, we can, we can only be the living example and test our own Petri dish. Just right. test yourself. Don't eat for one day. Feel the vibration increase. Don't drink for one day. Feel the oscillation in your body start to clear out your mind. That's what it's all about again. Growing into this. We come from a what? Child of God to a full-blown God. Right. Realize yourself. When a puppy's a puppy, when he gets grown, he becomes a dog. A kitten is a kitten. When it gets grown, it becomes a cat. An acorn becomes an oak tree and a soul becomes God. Right. Here we go again. There we go. So that's where you should be your full development of life. See, a lot of people suffering because of identity. Right. And identity. Identity. So therefore. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? So the only thing we know how to do is become gods, huh? Right. But now we got to get our definition. That just means power. We got a lot of power, don't we? Right. We could do anything we want to Generator, do. Generator, organizer, destroyer. You're going to have to create new cells. You're going to have to destroy bad cells. You're going to destroy bad programs. Create right. new software. Create new software. We do it all the time. I mean, if we can make if we can make hybrid cars, we can make hybrid bodies. If we got Teslas, yeah. we, can, we can live off the sun. And people energy. up there, what, fascinated off something external. I'm the only game in town. Bring it on. Bring right. it on. Bring it on. I'm going to be another game in town. I'm a baby game. They talk about some masters over in the Himalayas. I was over in the Himalayas teaching. I'm the only game in town. There ain't nobody tougher than me. Look. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the master. <laughs> uh, what is it? Sing like a bee. Uh, Muhammad Ali. Uh, what do you say? That's I, the way to I'm think. I'm a champion. I'm a champion. Oh, I need to go run C. Right. This is what we're talking about. Being your own God. Right. This is where it's about. And you have to love yourself enough to even say that, honestly. Right. We have to upload our programs, get out of that low self-esteem. And I'm deeply in love with myself. Oh, it's so beautiful. Me too. I mean, I'm so much in love with myself. Mirror, mirror on the wall while I'm looking <laughs> at myself. Who's the fairest of them all? You are, Ellie Tom. You <laughs> no, but this is good, clean fun again. Yeah, now, notice lot. how this is sustaining us. Just for getting out, having fun, being who we are, talking what we talk, living what we're living. This is what it's all about. And I love you too. You understand? Like there it's, there like ain't nothing wrong with loving nobody. Right. You understand? You have to love yourself to love other people. Absolutely. And then the other animals, man, they're enjoying this consciousness also. Now, don't this make sense? Right. Well, the animals are smart. As soon as they're sick, what do they do? They fast. They starve themselves. They don't eat. They don't even eat. And I'm smarter than the animal. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, this is salt by intelligence when a person trying to take me out of my God state. Right. When the last time you eat? Like the scripture said, if I was hungry, I wouldn't even tell you. Right. What is hunger? You're a God. God said, I will not, you will not live by food alone. You will live by the word. What is the word? Consciousness. 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 This is what we're dealing with. So we are living, conscious, being, all powerful. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the down. bright and morning star. Yes. I'm the rose of Sharon and the lily of the valleys. Wow. I'm the only God I know. Right. Wow. wow. Who else wow. am I supposed wow. to know? Wow. Know thyself. What I'm supposed to do? Waste my time going to a grocery store? That's for animals. <laughs> well, I, then I gotta go make the money. I don't care about no money. <laughs> <laughs> money ain't got my heart beating. Right. I you mean, can't eat really? You can't, yes. You can. Oh man, okay. look how low the human being has failed. So therefore, as we sit here in front of the sun, and it's free. Free. This is, what, this is what it's all about. Not only the sun nourishing me, I'm nourishing the sun. It don't even exist until I put it there. Amen. Oh, man. Are we talking now? So as we go into this, <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome, ain't it? We're healing. We're, I'm healing. Yeah, we're healing. High. High. High on life. And, and even laughing, the chemicals that you produce laughing can cure you. 
The, you know, the, the anatomy of illness, uh, Norman Cousins. I mean, he healed himself just by laughing, having more fun. Oh, my gosh. Thinking of funny thoughts. And I'm not even trying to make nobody laugh, huh? You're making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I need to laugh more. You know, I, oh, I take myself man. way too seriously. Right. Take a ah. life seriously. Why should life be seriously? Yeah. This is a lot of fun. Seriously. So anyway, as we make this <laughs> spiritual connection, I love you and I know you love me because that's all I know how to do. We will be seeing each other soon. You know where I'm located. We'll be giving off this information. And right now we're about to go uh, do whatever. Qigong. Yeah, we're going to do some Qigong we're and all this Qigong. other good stuff. So we'll see you soon. Keep up the good work. December 7th through the 14th, our next retreat, pre-solstice. Yeah, you got to come to this next retreat now. And as we keep growing and going higher and higher. And as we feed one another. So talk to you soon. We love you. We love you. Stay tuned. Me and Athena Starseed. <laughs> That, that's a deep name, man, it's Starseed. That's why I had to come get her. <laughs> Just to have a name like that. That's heavy, ain't it? I'm chasing you, man. I'm coming there. All right, talk to you soon. Love you. Love you. you. Come on, stop. Oh, that's how you do it. <laughs>